everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be filming what was supposed to be part of my prom series, but unfortunately, I kind of filmed this a little bit after prom season already ended or is about to end. But this is a really classic look that anyone can wear for any occasion and I know a lot of people are graduating from high school or from college or whatever the case may be and I personally think that a smoky eye looks good for any occasion especially something special like a graduation or if you're going to a wedding as a guest or if you have a date night or whatever the case may be. I love a good smoky eye and I know that it is something that is a little bit hard for some people to do so I'm going to be showing you guys tips and tricks on how to perfect a good black smoky eye without looking like you got punched in the face or looking like a panda or having black basically all over your whole entire eyelid. So if you guys are interested in learning how to recreate this look then continue watching. I'm going to start off with a Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar and I'm going to take the color Coconut Cream and I'm going to take this on this large shader brush from Morphe Brushes. This is from the Copper Dream set. Almost every brush that I'm going to be using today is or from this set. So next I'm going to take this M533 brush in the shade Nougat and I'm just going to go ahead and apply that into my crease and this is going to start off as the transition shade for the smoky eye. So you always want to go lightest to darkest with a smoky eye as with any other makeup look. Then I'm taking the shade Peanut Butter which is this warm brown color and I'm going to take that on M441 brush and I'm just going to apply that into the crease and I'm going to go ahead and apply a little bit in the outer corner too. You don't really have to do that but I'm just doing it just for blending purposes. So just keep on blending going in circular motions until you get the desired effect you want. Next, I'm taking the shade Truffled and I'm going to take this on this pointed taper brush that is from the Copper Dream Set and I'm just going to apply that a little bit lower in the crease closer to the eyelid. And then I'm going to go back in with the M441 brush and just blend those two colors together. Make sure there's no harsh lines. Next, I'm going into the shade Frosting and I'm going to take this on the flat, fluffy shader brush. And I'm just going to apply that onto the lid. And this is going to create a base for the dark black that we're going to use on our lid. That way it has a nice gradient. Then I'm taking just this black jumbo pencil and I'm going to just put a little bit onto my lash line. And then we will smudge it out. And I prefer using synthetic brushes to smudge it out. You can use your finger if you want to as well. It just depends on you. Today I decided to go with a little pencil brush. And then I decided to go with a fluffy synthetic brush to just blend out the edges. And once we've done that, then I'm taking the shade Licorice, which is a matte black. And I'm taking that on a flat synthetic brush. I prefer using a flat, small synthetic brush. That way I can work really slowly and make sure that I don't go up too high. A uh, big issue with a smoky eye is bringing it up too high, so you want to keep it below the crease, not above the crease. And the reason why is because we're going to take this um, matte brown on a pointed taper brush again, and then we're going to blend that black together with the rest of the crease colors. And if you bring the black up too high initially, then once you start blending it out, it's going to go upwards so it'll be closer to your brow bone, and that's what tends to make it look more like that panda effect that you don't want. And then we're just going to go ahead and blend out all the edges and make sure that everything's looking good. And then you can go ahead and go back in with the brushes from before just to blend out everything. Make sure it looks nice and seamless. And if you want to build up the black, you definitely can. So I just keep blending. And then I'm just going to clean up anything that might have gone below my lash line. I already applied my eyeliner. I accidentally deleted the clip with the eyeliner. So um, it was just a basic eyeliner. You don't have to do liner since we are doing lashes as well. And look at the difference that it makes when you clean up underneath. 
So then I already put on my face products and everything moving on to the lips. I'm taking this white lip pencil which is for my hacks video. If you guys haven't watched that video make sure you guys do check it out down below. I will link it down there for you. And then I'm just going to go ahead and line my lips with a brown lip pencil as always. I always do this with any nude color just because it makes it so that way it won't wash me out. So I'm taking this NYX soft cream lipstick in the shade Berlin. And once you've done that, this is basically the finished look. You guys can switch up the lip if you guys want to or switch up the color combination. But I hope you guys did enjoy. As always, if you guys recreate this, please let me know in my social medias. I would love to see your guys' recreations. And let me know if you guys have any requests down below in the comment section. And I will see you guys in the next video. Until then.